it's Michelle and today I'm sharing my February bullet journal setup for any of you still scrambling to get your February spreads all set up I got you all of these spreads are very practical and beginner friendly and they're all very simple and minimal I don't do any crazy drawings or illustrations and things like that so if that sounds like your kind of thing then keep watching all right, so I'm gonna be looking at my computer screen and following along with the video. So we're gonna start off with the cover page, of course, for February. So I'm just using some tape to create this barrier. You'll see in a sec, but I just stuck the tape onto my skin first to make it a little less sticky. That way it doesn't rip my paper once I take it off. So I just stuck it in the middle of the page and then wrote February with a yellowy gold Crayola Super Tips marker. And I feel like most people would associate February with like red or pink, especially with Valentine's Day. But I chose yellow because this color just makes me happy and feel positive. And that's something that I wanted to bring more of into my life this month. And then all I did was remove the tape and now we have a little space to letter February. And I just did this with my Tombow Furunosuke soft tip marker. And I'll link all of my supplies down in the description box below. And also when it comes to themes for each month, I kind of just choose a color instead of a design like hearts or flowers or butterflies things like that because I realized that I'd rather keep my spreads more simple and practical rather than make them look all fancy and pretty because drawing takes up a lot of time and effort so most of my spreads are just very simple lines blocks and text all right moving on to our calendar I like to just create a block and make sure I have enough rows and columns for each week I use a ruler to make nice straight lines you can totally do it freehand if you want and then I just cross out any of the boxes that aren't part of that month oh and by the way happy leap year so that means February has 29 days this year rather than 28. I also added a background color to all the dates um, just to add a bit more color. And I realized after that it looks like a fall or autumn themed spread, even though we're in winter, but that's okay. I also added a little section for goals, a section for notes, as well as a little YouTube tracker. And I've never done this before, but I really wanted to get back into YouTube and creating meaningful content this year. So here I can just keep track of my subscriber count, my view count, whatever I want and see how much I grew during that month. Okay, now we're getting into our weekly spreads. Usually after the calendar, a lot of people tend to put their trackers or like a brain dump page, but I added those after all of my weekly spreads. So stay tuned if you want to see those. And I put those at the end because I think I'd rather flip forward my pages when I'm filling out my trackers rather than flipping backward because just that action of flipping forward and skimming through any tasks and events that are to come will keep me more in a future focused mindset because I feel like I'm always stuck in the past. So this month I'm really focusing more on the future and setting goals. So a minor thing, but I think it'll really help me. But anyway, I made all of my weekly spreads for the entire month. Some people do it week by week, but I figured that I'd rather save time and do them all at once. Um, so this month I'm testing out a bunch of new layouts and I'm gonna see which one I like the best. So for this first one, something else that's new is that I'm adding these little mini calendars to every week so that I can get a glance at which week we're on because I always catch myself wondering, okay, what week are we in? How much time do I have left in the month? And then I just highlighted which week we're on with my marker. So this first weekly spread is a little different because I actually squeezed in nine days. Usually I would just do Monday through Sunday, so seven days, but I wanted to include the Saturday before and I also thought it would be cool to show you guys some different options for your weekly spreads. I also labeled each day with a black box and a white pen and that white pen is a Uniball Signo white gel pen. I just like how the white pen really pops on the black background. I tend to use this design a lot and I also added a yellow drop shadow just to add a bit more color. I also separated Monday through Friday with a line and anything above the line is for me to fill 
fill in like major events that I have for that day and anything below the line is for more specific tasks like a to-do list. That way it keeps me focused on what the overall theme or goal is for the day and then below that I can just list all the different steps that I need to take in order to achieve that goal. So for the second week of February, I'm using a more horizontal layout. This used to be my favorite type of layout and the one that I used the most, but for this one, it also features a black label on the side and I separated each day with borders using my yellow marker and I also added a section for my events but this time it's on the right hand side. And of course I have our little calendar again, but this time at the bottom. On to week three, for this spread, I'm experimenting with a more vertical layout. So at first I had seven columns for each day of the week, but the columns ended up being super skinny and it wasn't a lot of room to write things in it. So I gave myself more space by stacking Saturday and Sunday. And I typically have less to do on the weekend anyway, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue trying to fit things in the boxes. Oh, and my pen ended up leaking on my hand which kind of sucked. I'll probably order a new one soon. <laughs> so this next spread is another horizontal layout, another very simple one. This time I'm lettering the days of the week and separating them with a yellow line and also added my section for events. And I don't know, I'm just not too crazy about this layout, but it is good if you need a lot of space for a very busy week ahead or if you just don't have a lot of time. So now onto my mood and habit trackers. This was pretty fun to make. I really simplified these compared to trackers that I've made in the past and also rather than trying to force myself to feel a certain way or do something the way that I like to look at these is a way to just build awareness for myself to reflect on how I'm feeling and when I actually do things that way I don't put too much pressure on myself to make sure that I do everything on this list because in the past I felt a lot of pressure to feel happy all the time or make sure I do everything on my habit tracker and if I didn't then I felt really guilty and it became overwhelming so I'm just changing the way that I look at these trackers I used to make really complex trackers but it became way too tedious and time-consuming so for my mood tracker, I labeled each day of the month, 1 through 29, and made columns for five different moods that I wanted to track from super sad to super happy and color coded them with dots. And each day that goes by, I plan to connect the dots to the corresponding mood. And here's an example uh, from a past month. It's a lot easier to make and also a lot easier to fill in. And for my habit tracker, I am tracking seven habits when I exfoliate my face, vacuum the house, wash my hair, eat gluten-free, and post on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And my layout is pretty similar to my mood tracker, but to make it easier to fill in, I added lines on all of the odd numbered days. I'm planning to just like fill in a small circle in the corresponding area, like this. This is way easier than drawing blocks for each day or making mini calendars for each habit, which I used to do. But this is my first time trying out this method. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but I think I'll really like it because it's way easier to fill in. And finally, I just wanted to add a little bit more something to it, make it a little more fun. So I just drew in some sparkles at the top of the page. I also added these sticky tabs, one for my calendar, one for the week that we're on, and one for my travel. And I like using these because it makes it easier to flip to the exact page that I'm looking for. I like this better than the ribbon bookmark that is attached to your bullet journal. And I just love the watercolor pattern and I got these at Daiso. And here's the final flip through. Okay you guys, so that is it for my February plan with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some inspiration from it. If you recreate any of my spreads, I would love to see them. Tag me or send them to me in a DM on Instagram. And I am also trying to get back into posting regularly on my channel. I already have a bunch of videos planned, but if you have any ideas for me, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!